What is poppin' calisthenics fam? So today we're gonna be going through multiple exercises you could be incorporating to create that Superman superset workout. SS, I like that. Supercharged, yeah, let's go, let's get it. In order to create very strong shoulders, you don't only need to be doing a compound movement, you need to also focus on things that are going to stabilize the intrinsic muscles and also your core at the same time. So the specific exercises we're gonna go through first is you're gonna be grabbing a bench. Generally, it doesn't matter how tall the bench is, it could be lower, it could be higher, it doesn't matter, but you wanna grab a weight that are two dumbbells that are going to be around five to seven and a half pounds, maybe even lighter, two and a half pounds if you're just new to training, five pounds if you're more intermediate, and then seven and a half if you're a lot stronger. So what you're gonna be doing is lifting all the way up here to about, until your elbow is parallel with that posterior delt, as you can see, right here, okay? That dumbbell needs to not drop at all. You wanna keep it right up and controlled. You're gonna be stabilizing right here, making sure that your chin is not falling down at all. You wanna make sure that it's tucked in terms that you'll understand. So all you're gonna do from this position is push out kind of like an overhead press and you can have your knees on the ground. This will help force you to stabilize a lot more or you can have your feet all the way back in a straddled position as so. So you're, all you're gonna do is push out, stabilize and come back in. Making sure that you're not out of your uh, scapula position to get the most out of it. So making sure that you're retracting those scaps, staying in that position and pushing up and back. Up, back, up and back. Keep in a neutral spine throughout the whole movement. After that, you can go to a different exercise. I'm gonna show you right here. Um, we're gonna go into single arm overhead press. We're gonna go a little bit lighter. I'm gonna go with 50 pounds, okay? Here, you wanna make sure that you're not too far externally rotated and not too far internally rotated, okay? Right around, uh, right in between those two, okay? And you're gonna be laying this dumbbell on the shoulder and you're going to be pushing above your head. Don't move your head forward as so. You wanna keep it locked in that position. Remember, neutral spine is very important. Full extension in that tricep and full flexion in that shoulder joint all the way up and then all the way down, pause and explode back up. So we remember, Superman supersets, you wanna be explosive, strength filled. So power, okay? And then you're gonna obviously go to the next arm and do the same exact thing, making sure you're completely controlled. Don't do any of this with your hips. You don't want to have no full extension in your hips. You really want to make sure your glutes are tight, your core is tight. That's what's very, very important about this exercise. And obviously, full flexion above the head as so. Another exercise you could be doing. This one's extremely, extremely tough. You can actually be using a kettlebell. You can also use a dumbbell if you would like to. Going on the side of, bring the, the dumbbell or the kettlebell on the side of your body, opening up your hips, making sure you're fully extended, okay? One knee is gonna be on the ground. The other foot is going to be out to the side. Make sure that knee is completely straight, as you can see, okay? Without having to put your head forward or turn all the way with your neck, go ahead and just stabilize in that position. Don't go out of whack with that neck. Remember, neutral spine is extremely important. And all you're gonna do is come down and right back up above the head, as so. This will be working on rotation and stabilizing in that position. Remember, stabilization is extremely important, especially alongside your core. Here, okay? This is the third exercise. We have one more to go. Making sure you're staying tight, really squeezing those glutes and tightening that core. Now the final exercise, we're gonna come over here. We're gonna be going into what I like to call practice planche push-ups. We're gonna come on the ground. It's more of a body weight movement. So I showed you three different weighted movements. There is one body weight movement that I wanna make sure you're doing, actually two, and we'll get to that in just a second. But you're gonna be just right outside of shoulder width apart, okay? You're gonna be in a regular push-up position, hollow back. You don't want to have any type of extension in that lumbar spine. 
making sure you're tightening that core, squeezing those glutes, and you're just gonna come forward, opening up those palms just a tad bit, and as you're all the way forward, now you're gonna be coming down, keeping those elbows pretty tucked into your sides, and all the way back up. So as you can see, I'm very, very forward here, and I'm coming all the way down, all the way up. These are extremely, extremely hard to complete, especially in a superset. You can also do overhead uh, press or with a bodyweight movement as so, coming to the top of your head. But I wanna show you the tuck planche because many of you wanna learn how to do the planche. So I gave you three weighted exercises. I wanna give you, make sure I give you two to three bodyweight exercises. So here you go. You're gonna be in this position and all you're gonna do is hollow body. Make sure your hollow body Remember, you don't want to be sinking here, extension of that lumbar spine. So we're going to be here, hollow body. And all you're going to do is bring your knees to about that hand width right here, okay? Right around here. And then you're going to try and pop your knees off of the ground as so. So pop your knees off of the ground and back down. Pop those knees off the ground and back down. Now when you get stronger, you can go into different types of movements you can do uh, push-ups on actual dip bars from this position, the tuck planche. Um, this is gonna really focus on those anterior delts, also those traps, and a little bit of the mi middle delt, and also, don't forget, the upper pec. So, remember, fully extension, extend right here, squeezing those fingertips into the ground, full extension of the shoulder, I mean, sorry, the elbow, and you'll be good to go for that exercise. So, with all of these different movements, you can incorporate two or maybe even three, depending on the intensity of your exercise. If you're going more repetitions and lower rest periods, so muscular endurance, you wanna make sure you're not doing too many exercises. But if you are doing uh, more hypertrophy work, and you're going anywhere from six to 12 repetitions, even eight to 10 repetitions, I would recommend. Then you can superset a little bit more, do three exercises with a lower intensity. Sometimes you want it to be around 80% of your one rep, rep max, which most of you don't really know exactly what your one rep max is for these specific exercises because they're new to you, right? So for these specific movements, just try and stay a little bit lighter, controlling the movement and being explosive when necessary. So those one arm overhead press, once you understand the technique, go ahead and make sure you're getting a little bit more weight on there, increasing the volume, that sets times reps, okay? The amount that you're doing, the amount of weight that you're pushing throughout the whole set or, or full set of that exercise. So hopefully you understand this Superman shoulder workout. Um, if you have any questions about these type of exercises, how to incorporate them, they are also in my Iron Body program. It incorporates body weight training and weight training. I'll get you exactly where you need to be in a certain amount of time. Uh, you can also drop comments down in the comment section. I will help you out. Thank you guys for tuning in. If you did enjoy this video, give me a thumbs up. Hashtag calisthenics and I'll see you next time.